So down to the vocals. Let's do that. Maybe if you come, you come to your senses. Organize pool party. Link me with your friends and sisters. Sister, the best thing. I'm a- Anyways, I'm able to play the whole song, so I'll just highlight the parts we'll be working with. So I think I want to pick this part. Organize pool party. Link me with your friends and sister. The best thing. So Un- I'll be working you through on my plugins and the reason why I used some particular plugins. I'll put all the effect off and put them on one after the other so you can hear the difference. The first of my processing is the AVX Diplosive from Isotope. This is a great plugin for taking out plosives in your vocal recording. Organize pool party. Link me with- so if you listen to this pool party, Pool party, party, party. Listen to that party. You can hear this plosive going on. This party, party. Pool party, party. So the function of this deplosive is to soften out the vocal. And this is the way it sounds. Party, 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 party. Then after that, I added the far filter EQ. Party, 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 party. As you can see, I, I boosted the high frequency by 6 dB and I took out some of the low frequency up to 90 yards. So this way it, cre- it creates this box for the vocal to sit in, in the mix. And this is why I always take out frequencies that are not needed is for the kick and any low mid frequency any low end frequency to occupy that space then the next on my channel strip is the money eq and all i did was i added one db i added one db at the 25k hertz, and i took this all the way to the side Party, 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 party. So whenever I'm mixing, I always try to make this the vocal sound bright and at the same time doesn't sound unnatural. Party, party, then party. I added another plugin which is one knob brighter. Party, 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 so, party. So far, this is the way it sounds without the plugins. Party, 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 party. Yeah, you can see that there's drastic improvement in the vocals. But listening with the instruments, the vocal was still hiding. It wasn't like pronounced. So I went ahead to add more EQ. So this is the V EQ from Waves Bundle. And what did I do? I added 1 dB at the 10,000 kilohertz. And after that, I added the sibilance plugin to soften out the um, ash frequencies. Because whenever you boost high frequencies, you always boost ashness with it sometimes, and it sounds piercing to the ear. So what you need to do is get your DSR or any any plugin that works, any sibilance plugin, to soften the ashness in the vocal. Then I added one up fatter to make to give back that low end in the vocals because whenever you keep boosting high frequency you lose some weight in the vocal so this plugin was to add that low end back into the vocals and what did i do i added one db of that then another compressor party 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 with your friends and sister the best thing I'm happy the both of you no need to fight. As you can see, this compressor is just reducing the peak by 1 dB. If you look at the VU meter, the meter is just moving. It's not going past that 1 minus 1 because I'm just trying to tame those extra frequencies that is going out of the box, basically. This organized pool party. Link me with your friends. Then the last of my channel, my vocal channel strip is a DSR. I know I'm using two DSRs. The first one was to reduce the ashness because different DSRs have different characteristics. The first one was to reduce the ashness, while this one is just to reduce the S's 
in the vocal. This particular DSR from Wave, it depends on the settings you give it, but most times I use this to reduce anything that has just to reduce it. While the sibilance is to reduce ashness. So you guys don't get confused. Ashness, sibilances, and brightness that are three different things. So that's that for that. Then for my reverb plugin. This is my reverb track. So I created a different track and I'll route that to the lead bus so that we have control of the amount of reverb I'm feeding the lead bus. Yes, I have all sorts of reverb. This was intentional because whenever I'm mixing, I like to move from one reverb plugin to the next, to the next, to the next, until I see the one that fits the song. So this particular song, I went all the way from this pro R reverb from Fab Futa down to Valhalla. And I realized that Valhalla gave what I wanted, basically. And as you can see, I have my mix all the way to 100. And I use this smooth plates. Then my pre-delay. Guys, to get your pre-delay, you need to actually calculate this. Don't just put any pre-delay and... You need to actually calculate your pre-delay. So what you do is you open your calculator. Then you multiply 60,000. You divide, sorry, 60,000 divided by the BPM of the song. That's for this song, that's 114. Divided by the bar of the song. For this song, I decided to use eight bars. And that's the reason why we have 65.7 and 65.7 as my pre-delay. You need to always calculate your pre-delay whenever you're using a reverb. Then my decay, I used 30 seconds. And every other thing was just normal. I didn't, I didn't touch any of this stuff here. Let me play it now so you guys can hear how it sounds. Organize pool party. Link me with your friends and sister, the best thing. I'm happy the both of you, no need to fight. Me, I'm free my mind. So that's the reverb for this song. So I'll be going live on my Instagram page to answer questions from some of you guys. You know, just make it interactive. So there was one you posted on your page. I saw the like delay effect you added. So I don't mind if you can put us through or put me through the way you made like the delay effect for rocking. The delay is also known as echo. This is the repetition that comes after the lead vocal. For my delay, I use Echo Boy from Sound Toys. And I use the one over four notes for the delay of the song. So what I did was I changed the style to telephone and I added more EQ to take out some of the high frequency in the delay. This is just affecting the delay, it's not affecting the lead vocal. Ah, maybe let's do that. Maybe if you come, you come to your senses. So guys, you see the reason why I said you should always create a boss so that you can have more control. Imagine I put the delay on the on the boss itself. I won't be able to do this effect that I'm doing. But because I sent it to a different track, then I'm feeding the lead track the delay so that we have more control. I can be more creative with, with my processing. Oh, that was mad, that was mad, that was mad. Can you like, can you like, can you play it again? Let's, like, let's get the um that part so this is the way it sounds without the eq and this is the way the delay sounds with the eq so basically that is for the effects and I want to talk about this guy right here. So this particular effect, I made it myself. What I did was I took the first word from the song because while listening to the, while mixing the song, I was listening to it and I felt the intro was, it needed something to 
be there because it was just too basic for me. What I did was I I brought this to another track. Um, um. Then you add your reverb. I used Viola reverb. Give it like seventy percent weight. Like make it look like this. Uh. Yeah. So I rec I recorded this sound. So when you record it, this is what you get. So I don't know how you record on other softwares, but for Reaper, all I had to do was create a new track, route this to the new track. So as you can see, I have the new recorded vocal here. Uh, so let me mute this. Uh, so then what you do is you reverse these effects. So you have this smooth swell. Exactly. So it just depends on your taste. You need to know what's what you want and just blend it with your song so guys it's very simple and i also have some other effects other tricks that i use on other songs so i'll be doing more breakdown to show you guys most of my effects so yeah basically that's all to the to the breakdown of this song for the backup there's really no backup on this song it's just repetition of what what we have in the lead vocal You can achieve this effect with any pitch, um, any picture you have. You can use auto tune. You can use uh, your your basic picture that comes with your software to achieve this. Just move it up like plus twelve. All right, guys, this is the end of the breakdown. I hope this video was helpful in any way. So I'll be making more mixing videos. You know, I'll teach you guys how to properly use your EQ compressor and every other effect. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram as well. And don't forget to like and comment. See you guys in the next video.